All right, folks, out of Long Island, World Championship Wrestling, specifically WCW Monday Nitro, is going to be originating from the Nassau County Coliseum out in Uniondale on Monday night, August 30th, 7.30 p.m. Tickets on sale right now at the Nassau Coliseum box office and at all Ticketmaster outlets. Love to get out to Uniondale. By the way, special hello to the big spanker up in Norwalk, Connecticut. Look forward to seeing you on Monday night, August the 30th. If you're not tied up, if you know what I mean. Yes. Yeah, I'm out here. How you doing? Very good. The cat, Ernest Miller, joined by the venerate Japanese businessman and, of course, world-class manager, Sonny Ono. Welcome to the Big Apple. Thank you very much. Yeah, welcome, welcome to New York. Welcome to Gotham. I don't care about New York, man. You know, there's a bunch of rednecks here, too. <laughs> you like James Brown. I love James Brown. So don't do I. Oh, do you? I, as a matter of fact, I really like James you're not, Brown. Maybe you're not such a bad guy, I mean, James. I'm not a bad guy. I you know, know. Uh, some of the things you've said to me in the past, I've taken exception to. Well, let's, you, know, you know, let's just call everything up and up. And, you know, me, you're right here now. I know what you're saying, Baldy. Uh, uh, er, uh the, the cat. Buff Bagwell. That's what I wanted to say. I wanted to talk about Buff Bagwell. No, Bird Legs. It, we not bird gonna legs. Go there. It, it's not going to go that easy. I'm going to tell you, when I get through with Buff Bagwell Monday night, I'm going to come looking for you, Bird Legs. You hear me? Bird, bird Legs. You insist on that. If anybody, I do wear support hose every now and then and uh, orthopedic shoes, but that's because I spend a lot of hours on my feet. Yeah, yeah, You're not laughing about that, are you? No, no, sir. Okay. Uh, I'm sure that the... Big Apple is going to embrace you with open arms, Cat. No, sure, too. You know, they love me there. They love the cat there. I'm telling you what. They, I mean, I got fans calling me, say, Cat, please come and whoop somebody. Call your mama. <laughs> yeah. You are the former three-time three world yeah. Yeah, the, no, not for, the greatest. I am the greatest. I'm the world. Thank you very much. That's all at the Coliseum Monday night, August 30th, Nitro in town. We're back in the worldwide arena. As we await the appearance of the Raging Cajun, Lash LaRue. And the Raging Cajun from New Orleans, Louisiana, Lash LaRue, has impressed you, I know Scott Hudson, Absolutely. as well as me, with his success rate in World Championship Wrestling so far. We've seen Lash LaRue compete on a very even basis with some of the top cruiserweights in the world. But tonight, here on WCW Worldwide, Lash Guru is going to try and step it up a notch, taking on the three-time, three-time, three-time karate champ, the Cat. The Cajun is here in Wisconsin. And we're going to listen to the ball ball rolling. Hear my James Brown music. He just said, let the good times roll. Don't, ah. don't you speak Cajunese? Uh, no. I just know the Cafe Du Monde and uh, Ralph and Cockoos. Hang on. Oh, the cat is going to go through the roof. No, Lash LaRue's dancing to James Brown. Yeah, Lash calls that the Bourbon Street Blues. He does? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Here comes the cat and the colonel. Ooh! And the cat, Ernest Miller, putting the forearm to Lash LaRue. Don't play around with the cat's music, Lash. Oh, look at the cat get right in the face of our official Johnny Booth. The cat has been unleashed. That's a hot cat. Oh, the right hand. I mean, the cat doesn't take a whole lot of things seriously, but he loves his James Brown music. And that was an affront perpetrated by Lash LaRue. The cat shoots him in into the rope, ducks the clothesline. LaRue, drop kick on the cat. Arm drag takedown, and the Rage and Cajun, now back in control, on the cat, and the cat takes it outside for a con fab with the curve. Nicely done, a series of moves put together by Lash LaRue, out to the floor goes the cat, it's conference time with, well oh, you're right, it is Colonel Mustard. That's where, right. where do you get a jacket like that anyway? I don't know. This Mahatma Gandhi had a yard sale. Lash LaRue. Took the hot shot on the top rope and the cat. Stalking it. Brings it up into the arm ringer. The roof. Oh, man. What a front kick from the cat. It not only leveled Flash the roof, you can see that he's checking to see if he still has all of his teeth. What's the verdict? I'm not sure. Put that over there. Is that a tooth? The roof. Sunset clip on the cat. Can he bring him over? The cat's down. The cat out at two. 
Ooh! Standing side kick that time again from the cat connected. And LaRue goes down in a heap. Keep your chin down, LaRue. Oh, is he wide open for both of those kicks from the cat. I mean, LaRue has been tattooed by an angry cat. Look at this maneuver. Drops oh. the elbow. Little cat shuffle prefaced the elbow. Now goes for the cover. Lax, today's a goal attempt, and you're not going to pin Lax LaRue like that, but the cat just trying to send a message. Don't mess with my James Brown music. Yeah, judging from that fat lip that Lax LaRue has, I think he read the message loud and clear. Did you see what Buff Bagwell did to the cat on Nitro in Rockford, Illinois? Came out dressed up as the cat, played the music, had some jabroni and a Sonny Odo mask out there with him, and I mean the cat just uncorked on Buff. Oh yeah, the cat does not like being made fun of. We saw that on Nitro with Buff Bagwell and his mockery. Takes LaRue out to the floor. Look out! Oh, right in the face first into the steel safety rail. The situation between the cat and Buff Bagwell, I didn't think that could get any more heated until that Nitro, but hang on, LaRue! Just sent the cat into the guardrail. You know, ever since that Nitro, We've hung around Ernest Miller the cat, and he's a funny guy, but he has absolutely been as serious as I've ever seen him since Buff Bagwell just figuratively slapped him in the face in Rockford. Now the cat doesn't have much of a sense of humor when it comes to being made fun of, and I know that Sonny Ono wasn't thrilled as well. He was so mad he went out and bought a new suit. Abdominal stretch using the ropes for leverage and a front kick. Took the breath away from Lax LaRue. Well, if he just bought a new suit, it's got that same mustard color. What is every suit in his wardrobe is that same mustard? Well, he's either Colonel Mustard or the Purple Haze, one or the other. Sends our, our TV guys right up, the, right up the bloody wall with those colors. Got to run bars and tones for about six minutes to get things level in there. Oh! Front kick! And there goes the roof. I think the cat is just toying with the raging cage. That front kick just turned the roof inside out. And the cat jaws with the fans as he continues his assault on Young Lash. Sets him up one more time. Abdominal stretch. Not using the rope. Referee Johnny Boone. Has, oh, now he's using the rope for that leverage. And Johnny Boone, the referee, caught it. He broke it up. Now LaRue. The hip toss. Field throw from LaRue. Puts the boots to the cat. And the forearm. And there is life in the rage and cages. The cat trying to find his way out of it. But LaRue is tenacious. In the corner now, look at him put the boots to the cat. Lash LaRue, who's proven himself against cruiserweights, has stepped up to the plate against the heavyweight in the cat. And now in the corner mount, Lash LaRue, raining down the right into the bald temple of Lash LaRue, but hang on, LaRue! Whoa! I think you mean into the bald temple of the cat, but the cat cut off Lash that time and dropped him face first across that top turnbuckle. I mean, just a version of the old snake eyes and LaRue face first into the turnbuckle. Break across the eyes and the cat. I'm more convinced than ever. He knows he could win the match. He just wants to inflict pain. But you need to win it when you can. Look at that abdominal, rather, atomic drop from Lash LaRue. Follows up with a kick to the gut. Sets him up. Version of the suplex just cradles him up in the pinfall attempt. Only got the two count, and now Sonny Ono is on the apron. Lash calls that his New Orleans light suplex. Sonny Ono up on the ring apron. Well, that's the first oh. three blues, and he just walked right into a standing sidekick from the cat. With the ruby slipper, there is no place like going home. And the cat, ruby slipper, loaded up on the right foot, and I mean, he tattooed LaRue. It's over. Oh, now it's celebration time. Oh, and Sonny brings in the robe. Is he going to dance for us? I hope not. Oh, well. Sure he is. No, I don't know. Oh, you got to feel the beat, and the cat is back with it. Oh, little Bourbon Street blues of his own. Oh, the cat has been in a fight, though. You know it. A man that has buffed Bagwell in his crosshairs. I'll tell you what. Let's go back and take another look at this one. It's our 1-800-COLLECT replay. Brought to you by 1-800-COLLECT. The easy way to save.
Some of the stiffest kicks we've seen ever from the Cat to Lash LaRue down, sizes up his opposition, and drops the elbow across the chest of Lash. Standing side kick, there you see the red shoe. It proved the difference, and the Cat's in the winner's circle. My thanks to Mike today for joining me here in the Worldwide Arena. When we come back, I'll rejoin the living legend, Larry Zabisco, backstage in the studio. Stay with us on Worldwide.